Hello everyone, Jerry Brimacombe here from Sector Learning Solutions. I'm going to have a quick tutorial on how to use alerts in SharePoint version 3. This is WSS we're looking at. So let's say that here I have an announcements list and I would like to know if any new announcements are added to that list. And so let me know if anything is added there, please, SharePoint. So in order to do that, I click into the announcements first and here I am looking at the announcements screen and notice under the actions menu there is alert me which sends a email notification when items change so I say yes please alert me on this list the alert title is announcements comes to me Jerry Brimacombe if you're an administrator you could add more users there or uh, or just leave it as myself here and I want to know when new items are added and I will s skip this next section. Those are self-explanatory. And here I could choose Im immediately daily or weekly summary. What I find is the daily and weekly summaries are very useful uh, rather than the immediate. Immediate is sometimes what you need uh, if you really need to know right away. But otherwise it gives you a nice summary over the day. So I'm going to say daily summary and I want it sent to me at s 7 in the morning. So it comes to me before the uh, workday starts and I can start by checking the announcements for the previous day. I'll say OK to save that alert. And now there's two emails that I'll get in this process from SharePoint. The first one looks like this. You have cr successfully created a, an email uh, sorry, it's an email that says you have successfully created an alert for announcements and there's the SharePoint site where it's created and notice I can manage my alerts on this page by clicking here and uh, I'm just going to close that email and then when I add a new announcement or anybody adds a new announcement I get a message something like this so from this site there's this is the name of the announcement has been added and then I've got a series of links on the top here modify my settings view the item itself, view the announcements list, or see the mobile view. So I'll show you here, uh, first of all, view Jody's birthday cake. So view the new item that was added. So I'll click on that to bring up the announcements list. And the item, there it is, in detail about Jody's birthday cake. And notice that if I went up to my welcome menu in the top right, I could pull this down and under my settings I could change my alerts here. If I click on my alerts I can see that I've been testing this a little bit but the one I just created is here under announcements I could check it and remove it so I could remove that alert I don't need it anymore have a nice day. So that's how you get to that menu through the welcome menu but notice also in my alert email there is a modify my alert settings link in here as well so you can actually manage it from the email it brings it up to the exact same screen in your SharePoint site so as that comes up now the other thing that I uh, we'll just to close off I'll let you know who we are sector learning solutions we're based in Victoria BC and our SharePoint specialists SharePoint consulting and training so feel free to Give us a shout if there's anything we can help you with. All right. Cheers.